So thank you for sitting down with us. I know that over the years, there have been a lot of Ted Bundy stories. Right. This is your story. Right. You saved all of those photos of your time with Ted as a family. Why did you save them? It's a strange phenomenon. It's like I sometimes can't believe this has really been my life. And I kept those photos of us when we were happier, before we knew what he was capable of. The photos are joyful, much like most people's family's photos. They don't look any different. That's my childhood. Unfortunately, the memories that are attached to those pictures have lost their original emotional content and become something different. I still have a sense of disbelief that this man that I loved and that was seemed to be such a great guy could go out and do such horrific things. It's just so hard to accept. Liz, I'm sure you've asked yourself, why not me? Completely. And I hate to even say this because it makes him sound normal, but I do think he loved us. I heard a story told by one of his attorneys he said Ted told him that he would play games with mice and he would let some of them live and make some of them die. And to me, that's us. We're just these mice that were allowed to live. There isn't anybody who grew up here that is of a certain age that doesn't have a Ted Bundy story. His presence here is huge. It's such an amazing story that touches on so many things. It is part of the history of the Pacific Northwest. It's part of the history of criminal justice in the United States. It's a story worth telling. Who was this young man in the Pacific Northwest? He knew how to flatter people. He knew how to win their trust. He was good-looking and charming and seemingly had the world in his grasp and was going to be a successful guy. There were two Bundys. The only people that ever saw the diabolical Bundy were his victims. I never wanted to think people were born evil, but my opinion about that changed when I met Ted. I think he was just born evil. Seattle was a smaller, more innocent place back then. It was a time when many women were feeling very independent, so people didn't think right away that a woman who hadn't been seen for a few days might have fallen into harm's way. When you look at Ted Bundy, he was about the right age to be in college. He drove a Volkswagen Beetle, very, very popular car in the 70s. And so when he would move into a college campus, he just fit right in. He graduated in June of 72 from the University of Washington with a degree in psychology. Why does he get a degree in psychology? From my view, he does that because he wants to be able to continue to manipulate people. One of his activities was to be involved in political campaigns. Governor Dan Evans was brought down to the aisle and given a tumultuous welcome. He worked for the committee to reelect Dan Evans. He had aspirations. He wanted to go to law school. I mean, he was thought to be sort of a rising star in the Republican Party in Washington State. I think a number of things conspired to make Ted Bundy Ted Bundy. And when you look at the childhood of serial killers, there are some common themes, and I see them in Ted's case, where there's dysfunction in the family, and what happens is they grow up with a lot of rage typically towards women. He wanted to be from a family that had money, and he wasn't. This is a guy who, from the earliest age, was a petty thief. Tell me when you first realized he was stealing things. He stole a pair of ski boots from the Student Union building on the University of Washington campus. And he brought them over to my apartment. And he said, if I hadn't have stolen them, somebody else would have. So he just took them. He talks about having been a peeping Tom at some point. The idea that Ted Bundy was involved in peeping 
actually makes sense because it's basically a training ground about how you isolate people, how you watch people, how you get into houses. He was a night person. He would get restless, get in his car and drive for great distances. So he was a roamer, always. But a part of him longed to be with somebody or a part of something, part of a family. He had this longtime girlfriend who had a child. I want to go back to when you first arrived in Seattle. You were a single mom. You went out to that bar and you saw a handsome man. Tell me about when you first met Ted Bundy. Well, I was pretty smitten right from the get-go. I saw him sitting at the table and I went over and talked to him because I told him he looked lonely. And, you know, I took him home with me that night, which I wasn't in the habit of doing. But... Yeah, out of character for you? Yes. She was a young, reasonably naive, single mother from Utah who met the man who was considered by virtually everybody in society and culture in the 1970s as the dream date, the perfect husband material, a prince charming. Is it fair to say, at least at first, that Ted Bundy was a gentleman? Oh, completely. Put a lot of energy into making us happy, doing fun things. My parents loved him. He was just really it, in my opinion. And I really wanted to marry him. Give me some of the activities that you all would do as a family together. So he had a favorite everything, a favorite restaurant, a favorite carpet store. <laughs> was just, so he wanted to take us to all the places that he thought were cool. Went to the zoo, went to all the fun kids things. He always seemed to embrace us as a family unit. When he was with Liz, he, he said he really enjoyed um, being a family man. He said the things that you know, I would expect my brother to say about his family. But as the years rolled on, he determined that, no, I'm never going to be married. I'm never going to have children. I'm never going to be a governor. I'm never even going to be an attorney. I'm just going to murder. And this is what makes 1974 so extremely different. He determined he's going to launch himself into full-time murder, and he's just going to keep doing it until he was captured or killed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.